first log into the back end after you've successfully installed the template, you should have something that looked like this is going to show you the Joomla, the latest version or any updates that needs to be done. And also it's going to ask you to update your Quix Pro, um, your license. So this is very important that you do that. All right. So we're going to do this. So let's go over to the Quix and let's go over to the dashboard. When you come to the back end of the Quix here and you click on the activate the license, you need to do that because that is going to allow you to, you know, update your site to get the latest version, to get support and all those great things. But in order to do so, you would have to put in your username and your authentication key. This is a key that you do not want to share with anyone else. You can also always, you know, regenerate a new key, but you don't want to share that with anyone. This is like a details just for your site alone. So go to theme expert, log in and get your, uh, put your username and your authentication key there to get going. So I've put in my key from this site and I am going to click activate. So now your license has been activated and you're getting this message right here. That's okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to extensions, manage, and let's go over to uh, update. And when you get to the update manager, you have a few things that you want to update. So they have the J2 store, the free version, the Quix Pro, the regular labs, and all these right here, these are free stuff that they've, you know, they've put in there. So you can update all of them and, or you can just update whichever one that you need. Um, so let's just click to update here and you check there and then you go to update. So when you click on the update and all the extension update, but you get this error message install a type, that's okay. Let me show you another way to uh, install update. So this occasionally sometimes happen with every extension, you know, so to uh, the workaround with this is you go to extension, you go over here to install. And then once you get here, this is where you can install the quick uh, page builder that you downloaded from their website. Uh, you can click to uh, add install from web tab or I'm just going to click to browse and then locate the file. And then you should get this message that says that it was successful. Next, you need to proceed with the installation. So click on proceed with installation and everything here looks good. Now, one thing that you know is that if on your website, you see that you have the re recommended limit is different from what you have. It might have like a red, like a 32 or an eight. You can change that limit. You can just contact your web hosting company or you can do it yourself. Let me show you how to do it yourself. So go to your C panel and then you just want to type in the PHP, uh, PHP in it right here. So you want to click on this. So when you get here, you want to click on your domain name and it's going to pull this down for you. So all the values that you're seeing right here is the same values that you see here. So if you notice that, for example, if your PHP, if the memory limit, the recommended is 64, if you have 32, well, you can be able to come here. There's the PHP. Uh, let's see the memory. So 60, 64, there's the memory limit. You can raise that. Uh, and then once again, you know, just make sure you contact your host if you need to. But for the most part, um, you can raise that amount to like a 64 to match whatever it says the recommended is. And that's a good way to go about it. So now that you've done so, the directories, everything looks good. You want to go over to next. When you get to next, you should have your username and your password from theme expert. Just log into your dashboard to do that. And this is here where you validate um, your, your, your site. So click to validate. Okay. And now I said, let's get started. Click on next and give it a moment just to go through everything here and, and check through success, success. So everything looks completed. Now let's click on next. And then from here, once you get this maintenance message, you want to click on next and now it's been complete. So you can start to build. So let's go to start building. So everything now looks to be completely set up and this is what your dashboard should look like. You shouldn't have any more, uh, update messages. So you have the latest version uh, of Quick's uh, page builder. So in the next lesson, we're going to take a look at an overview of this.